Hello, people. This is Mike June the second. This is Let's Play uh, Mario Tennis Power Tour. I don't know why I forgot the name there. Anyway, I am with Ace right now, and I'm actually am gonna do some of these right now. I just kind of wasn't in the mood last time. So anyway, oh, hang on, Mike. That's the way to the teaching. Ah, that's the way to the teaching courts. Did you need the coaches? Actually, I do. I'm gonna pass. I just had the coaches give me pointers the other day. I'll just go take a look around. Don't worry about me. Good luck. I'll catch you later. And Ace basically goes off. And uh, real fast, let me uh, turn this off. I need to do something. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, the music was just way too fucking loud there. Uh, I don't think it affected you guys at all. Since it's just, I hopefully it didn't. It wasn't too loud for you guys. But anyway, we're gonna start doing some of these now just for fun. I'm gonna skip the actual tutorial part and just show you what to do, and then I'm gonna be done with them forever. Would you like some serving lessons? Okay, let's get started then. Since this is your first lesson, I'm gonna start by having you learn basic serving. Getting a service ace is the ideal, of course, but we'll deal with those a bit later. Of course, you won't win any games if your opponent's getting return aces off your solid serves. So I'm not going to tell you to go out there and own the game in a low-level lessons. But I do think you should keep the receiver in mind when you serve and direct your serves according accordingly. Now let's get down to the lesson. I want you to take a look at this diagram. Blah, blah, blah. So basically, he's pointing out that server, this little area you need to hit at. He's basically showing you the tennis field right now. And different areas you need to actually hit the tennis ball for p the people up there, G, H, and I. Serve depending on where a person is. Now he wants us to actually put it to practice. So basically, when he's in the middle like that, push it to either side. This one's the easiest one to do, just for the simple fact that the game kind of makes it easy for you to do. You really should pass this one with no issues whatsoever. Okay, I wasn't sure I was going to get that one. And we got everything, woohoo. Now you get points, blah blah blah, da da da. There you go. You need speed and topspin. Yeah, yeah, failed to save. What? It didn't say failed to save, that's odd. Nice job, you did everything just like I taught you, serving from all four sides. I think it's safe for you to pass, say you've passed junior training at least. Still, it'll take some time before you master how to apply what you just learned in a real match. Once you've got this down, come see me for the next lesson. So basically, yeah, and that's the last we're gonna see of this, or at least in person. Um, as I've said, you can battle a few different people. This is the serving guy you battle. Basically, it's kind of like doing points. Uh, basically, those who can constantly do the same thing over and over again uh, and get points for it win. Now we're going to do strokes. All right, then. Are you here to take some lessons in stroke play? That sounds so wrong. I can't even describe it. Okay, why not? The first thing I'm going to teach you is service reception. And blah blah blah, in short, this one you might actually have to listen to, it's not that basic. Basically, she wants you to hit it uh, to curve out, depending on the situation. Push A when you curve it to the left of the person, push B when you curve it to the right, basically. Do you understand the theory of service reception? Let's try practicing to see if you really got how it works. I'm gonna have any- I'm going to have you receive serves just the way I explained. Righty receivers hit servers from the left with top spins and servers from the right with slices. So I'm guessing it's the other way around if you're a lefty. This is assuming you don't receive with forehand only. Don't forget that. If you succeed from all four sides of the court, you pass the practice. Not too hard. You did it. Woohoo. Basically not that hard to get. Towards the person is A or... No, wait, no. Uh, I don't know what to say. Fuck me, don't listen to me, I'm stupid. And some people are gonna be like, Yes, you are, Michael, I'm gonna go shut the fuck up. Yep, go away. You did it, congratulations. With service reception like that, the server's going to have it rough. I'll put, those, I'll put together the next lesson, so don't neglect your practicing. Yep, and now this one, which I always fail at in this emulator. I don't know what the issue is. I actually played it on my actual game not too long ago, and I had no, absolutely no issues. But we're going to just show you guys how it works. Are you here to learn net play? First, I'm going to teach you the serve and volley. 
S -da 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 blah blah blah. So this one is service line, boom. Basically, she wants us to actually creep up and hit the ball. On that little server spot up in front. Do you understand how the servant volley works? Yes, I do. The sportsman learned with his head and remembers his body. Let's do some practice until your body gets a feel for the serve and volley. Serve and dash to the net. When the ball is returned, volley to the opposite side. If you succeed from all four sides of the court, you pass. That's odd. That worked that time, huh? Got it. Nice. I love the little pose she does, too. Look at that. His little happy pose. Maybe it was just for the simple fact that I didn't really have any stats going at the time, so it was kind of fucked. Ah, oh, fuck. I just about had it. So you guys just won't see the success thing for this, but I don't give a shit. You know how to do it. Blah, blah, blah. You can be pissed on me. Don't care. Nope. So basically, we're done here forever. Yay! No, I'm not going to go back. I don't care. This isn't really a 100% run. I'm just going to do what's for fun. And here's Ace. How'd it go, Mike? Did you take talk to the coaches? We should get to test out the advice right away. So, and now we're gonna go to the junior courts to actually do the actual games. This is the junior class. Let's do it. This guy in the middle is kind of the coach for the junior class. Mark! Hey there, Ace. Mike, too. Am I glad to see you again, huh? You uh, look a little puzzled. Looks like you forgot. Who I am, didn't you? And totally. Ah, well, I can't expect you to remember everything. It was a busy day, after all. You met me back during the welcome workout. Fortunately, I'm not the one who worked you into the ground. But I have done the same. But I'd have done the same thing. It's tradition. You gotta stand by your school's traditions. Not if they kill you. You should have thrown in the towel earlier. It's your. Tenacity? I don't know if I'm clue. That you did in, you know? Hey, we're gonna kick ass. What's wrong with being tenacious? As for I can tell, that's a good sign. I'm serious. People thought you might just give up and quit once you um, uh, regain consciousness. So I'm just relieved that you'll be sticking around at, all the, at the academy after all. However, you won't be getting in any special treatment. You know, that's not the way to improve. Definitely not. Fuck that. I'm Coach Mark. Welcome to the Academy, Mike. Glad to see you here. Glad to have you here. Whatever. And basically, this is people doing shit. Everyone looks to move up through the ranks and make seniors, so it won't be easy. But your champ material, it won't, but your champ material won't be long before you top the class and end on to the seniors. Ah, I can't speak. I don't know why. And if you want that to happen, then you'd better get started. So basically, it's easy to understand. First, you need to win a ranking match to place the double standings. Since you two are still unranked, you should go talk to the number four team. So basically, this is how the game works, or at least till you get to varsity and whatnot. Basically, there's four different ranks. Uh, they're different between both singles and doubles. And basically, depending on who you come here with, you'll be doing uh, singles and doubles. So don't worry about anything. So basically, you'll find people around here of different ranks and whatnot. Some people don't have any ranks at all, like this guy. You're just like us, right? I mean, unranked. Sure is nice to have another unranked team around. This guy up here is actually a rank 3 team. My partner is Phenomenon, so you're sure to move up to the second. So you're sure to move up to second place once he gets serious. So we're sure to. Okay, we're sure. I can't read. This is Phenomenon. To shame a budding tennis phenomenon like yours truly is a budding? is truly stuck in third for junior doubles. Pay attention, newbie, and you'll see what happens when I get serious. So, anyway, this is the rank four team. Are you looking for a ranking match? We're number four. Okay, sure, let's get started then. And basically, this is how the game works, folks. So you want to play a rank four match, huh? Basically. <laughs> ah, no. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna... Be right back. I sat on the fucking thing that does the noise thing. Hopefully it doesn't affect you guys too much. You sh it should just record the screen, but just in case that, like, affected anything at all, I decided to stop recording. 
Clear the court, we're holding a ranking match. I uh, better get the fuck off. Okay, let's start the match. The lower ranked team serves first. First two sets wins. Also, you only battle these guys once ever. Not counting if you go to the menu screen and fight them that way. Mike and Ace. Two games, three set matches. Let's do this shit. Now, if you can't tell, this game is a 3D kind of game. The characters, I believe, are in 3D, to my knowledge at least, and uh, it's pretty cool. It definitely does a lot better than you, Hakusho Spirit Detective, and I think the controls work pretty well. These guys are... This basically will be a very easy fight, especially since we actually have stats going right now. Don't feel afraid to jump in there and kick ass if, uh, if needed. Boom! By the way, push both things at the same time to do a better attack. Both the A and B button. And you get the purple, purple looking kind of stuff. Hey, gotcha! Eight love, I love no one. Boom! Ha, <laughs> right in the face. That's my favorite that you can do that. Probably not going to lose a point after these first few matches. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Out of there! So, it's been like, what, two videos now and finally we get to the fucking gameplay? I know, right guys? Who knows? Basically, that's how you might want to speed up some of these matches. You might lose a ball or two after these first matches. Uh, I... Ah, oh, come on, Ace, you're better than that. You might lose a few points, but for the most part, you should be fine with, um... Kind of running up next to Ace if you want to speed things up a bit. Probably wouldn't recommend- I don't know if that would work on hard mode, definitely not an in intermediate. Be as careful as fucking possible on the, uh, whatever it's called. Whatever the high-level stat. Hi, Mom! Boom! Fuck you! Haha! <laughs> This is a set point, meaning get another game set. Shouldn't be too hard. This is definitely, uh, you do a lot more of these matches depending on what difficulty you're playing on, to my knowledge. No, oh, I almost didn't push the A button there. That would've sucked. Gotcha. Basically, you know, the point of trying to get the tennis ball to get out of the place is basically trying to fit it through the middle of each person. Ooh, got it right in the face again. I'm kind of a dick, aren't I? But basically, you're trying to get it in... When it comes to doubles, basically, you gotta find a way to get it so that um, you get it in between the players. Far enough where the person in the back can't get to it and... To the point not too close where the person in the front can get to it. At least that's how I kind of look at it. No, I don't know if that works for real life tennis. I've only played tennis a little bit. Uh, when I was in high school, we had to play tennis for a bit. And I, had, I was pretty decent at it for someone who'd never played tennis before. I played a uh, birdie. And, like, we had like a little birdie net thing, but we didn't actually have tennis. And we win. Bitches can't handle us. One level up for you. And basically, we're... Again, I like waiting the level ups, saving it for, um... Special occasions. Bottom, and finish up serve. Yep, and we actually get characters when we do this. The match is over! Mike team, Mike's team wins! It moves up a rank. I love how it's called my team, considering the fact that Ace is the better of the two of us. We're out of the standings because we lost? Now we can't freely use the courts to practice, huh? That's okay. We can all share the practice courts. That's right, we can. You should be practicing on the senior courts anyway. Yeah, the seniors get way prettier courts than the juniors do. You two have something against the seniors or what? Basically, Ace is a senior, so uh, she's kind of pissed at this. Just watch. We'll practice, and one of these days, you're going down. Oh, and about the court, we'll be using it after all. Mm, okay, whatever. Don't care. I love the shaking head, too. Sore losers. If you're going to keep winning, you'd better get used to the losers hating you for it. 
That's a definite, definite sure. I beat a lot of players in my time, stole their dreams, tromped on their hearts to make varsity. But I told myself for every player I beat, I'd work extra hard to make up for their dreams. Ah, that's kind of cool. You're in the winner's world. Keep that in mind as you work towards varsity. Got it? It's a long road to varsity, so practice, practice, practice. Fuck yeah. So basically now that we're done doing rank 4, we go to rank 3. Oh, and just for anybody's curiosity's sake, uh, no, we cannot battle these two guys again. It's great we can use the courts even though we're not ranked. So basically, yeah, um, oh, we're getting away your fight, oh, doesn't that- Oh, god, hit me in the face, fucking dick. But basically, yeah, you can't refight these guys unless you go to the main menu and you can actually set up fights after people you beat, which is why it said we obtained Meg. Meaning that we can also we can also play as her. Pretty cool, huh? Another showers. I, or no, maybe those are maybe those are. I think those are sinks. Yeah, yeah, they're sinks. That's what they are. They're sinks. That works. Did that thing just move? I'm po positive that thing just moved. It did. Oh my god. Chain the one up mushroom. Oh no way! I have never found that before. Dude, that is so fucking cool. I have never found that before. That is... Dude! Oh, okay. I've heard about hitting one-up mushrooms in this game, but I was just like, I thought people I thought people were just bullshitting me. Holy shit, that is awesome. Dude. But anyway, yeah, I think those are, uh, these are sinks, actually. I remember watching a few things where they got, uh, a few animes and stuff where some schools had, uh, sinks outside. So maybe that's where it, uh... Maybe it's a Japanese thing. Time to talk to these guys. And this guy looks just like this guy, but older, doesn't he? I don't know. The red-haired guys? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to talk to the Phenomena guy. Now that you're number four, I'm sure you're going to itch to take on me and my partner. Okay, I'll humor you. Basically, this guy thinks he's top shit. So you want to play a rank three match, huh? Don't have, everyone doesn't have to shake their heads. Just get it done over with. Clear the courts. We're holding a ranking match. Again? God damn. People need to calm the fuck down. Okay, let's start the match. The lower ranked team serves first. First two sets win. And I'm just going to skip that from here on out. And everyone... I, I do like that. Those little touches of everyone showing respect for each other before the match. So an ace and Mike versus the two fuckers. And I meant to show that. Sorry. So, Boom! There you go, Ace. Keep doing more of that. Can't be stopped. Ow, this fucking hurt. So, yes. Um, now, you know, this game's kind of... Uh, it's kind of a, just a basic tennis game so far. So, you know, kind of, kind of RPG elements with experience and stats and whatnot. But for the most part, it's mostly basic. I did actually play another uh, sports game. Uh, there was there was a compilation game on the um, the, the original Xbox that I had, which basically had NCAA football, college football for those who don't understand, and it had a tennis thing. The tennis thing was very weird. It was basically like a bunch of uh, basically like someone going around the world doing certain kinds. Sometimes it would do things like the practicing. So you get good at doing some of the battles and stuff. I don't know. The game was really hard. It's kind of a dick move with a lot of moments where people just naturally be good at you. You couldn't beat them with just skill. That was kind of annoying to me, at least, so... Never really played the game much. I didn't play the Xbox a lot. I liked a few of the games. Definitely my favorite was uh, Knights of the Old Republic. But, um... I don't know, I just... It, the Xbox definitely wasn't a good fun system for me. Definitely better better systems out there in my opinion, and I that's kind of why I've I, I thought about going for a 360 at first, but then I decided to go more for a PS3. And I'm happy with my choice. One of my favorite games of all time is a PlayStation 3 exclusive game. And I don't mean exclusive as in it's for PC too. I mean pure fucking exclusive. So um, yep. Ooh, ho, ho, I love that. Fuck you. Oh, dude, I am fucking breaking noses today. Gonna break your fucking nose, pal. No. Oh. God. 
Mike, destroyer of noses. God, we're kicking these guys' ass. God, that one-up mushroom really helped. Ow! Ooh! You hit me in the back of my fucking neck, pal. 